Okay, guys, we're going to do a little filler piece. These are the Trick Flow 270s for just Mopar Joe's 540 project, which I found out is going to be a 538. And uh, looks like we're going to have a cam challenge between Brian Salter and Daniel Powell. And uh, there's actually another interested party that wants to put a cam in there too. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wait for that announcement. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But there was a question about our finish on the chamber. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm afraid to touch the the focus on this. The focus, the the zoom, because you may not be able to see it. But it's it's fairly polished. But there was a, a question on how much can we polish it in order to keep detonation resistance as good as possible because it's going to have quite a bit of compression and it's going to move some air because these are flowing quite well at this point. I forget exactly, 370, 370 something, 380, 381, 382, something like that. In any case, they're moving a lot of air through a 219 intake valve. These are junk valves that cover the seats. And what I wanted to show you is these were actually uh, from Brian. I was working on another set of trick flows uh, in conjunction with him, and he wanted sections polished. And he's like, do you have cross buffs? Let's see if I can get that. That's what a cross buff looks like. And I said, I know what they are, but I've never used them. So... He sent me two of these, well, one of each. This is a VFN, that's very fine. That is the red one. And this one is MED, which is the blue one. Blue is medium. Red is very fine. They probably have stuff that's even finer than this and rougher than this, but they're very interesting. They're, they're kind of spongy, so they... Uh, conform to the shapes and they do wear I mean which would make sense everything wears right look at my body okay and once it gets close enough that you're going to hit the metal they're, they're done so in order to use that you have to have an arbor and that little axle on there and what they do let's see if I can do this on camera for you guys where am I here I am just threads on. The reason I have it covered with tape is because if you leave it bare metal and you whack into the uh, inside of a port or whatever you're doing, it leaves a mark. Whereas if you put electrical tape around it, it just leaves a little glue and that'll come right off. These actually work really well at taking like sanding roll glue off. Now, let me put this in. Let me see if I can pause you guys. Put this in my Small DeWalt. I have the speed set pretty close where I want it to be. We're going to try to give a really nice polish to this. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Okay, I should include... You need sand rolls like this in order to change the shape and so forth. Uh, these really aren't going to take off much material. And, and the blue ones, not neither. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what we can do here. Now I've got it set up with our blue. Let's see uh, let's see what we can do. Now these love to catch because they have the, the sections. So if you get to the edge of the chamber, it'll catch and, you know, basically ruin, ruin the buff. So you have to really kind of keep a, a handle on them.
Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Relatively shiny, but you can still see some lines. I can still see some lines in this area. Let's work on that a little bit more. Now this is, since this is a brand new big fresh one, it'll catch the edge of the chamber a lot easier. Okay guys, I think that's what we're going to live with. It's a little tough to get these tiny little lines out, but I don't think those are going to affect us. That is definitely a little more polishy than we had. And I think that's what we're going to do. And uh, is it quite a mirror fin finish? It's pretty close. I'm going to take you off the stand and give you a zoom in. And you can compare it to the one right next to it. Let me take you off pause, guys. Okay, you can hear Lana's upset because Baxter's getting his walk. She's not. Not bad. I don't know if you could, would consider that mirror. But there certainly isn't really any hot spots there. There's also no lines to break up any fuel that gets through this far. If you notice, we, we did a real rough texture inside the port so we don't have to worry about it. And this is what I originally did. See, it had the little lines. Well, that was kind of vetoed out. This is what we got. All right, guys. Now I got to get all these together and get them all done. I still have to CC these. I do want to run them through the IOP program. Got plenty to do and little time to do it, guys. I lost a whole day this weekend. On call is fun sometimes. All right, guys. It looks like it's not focused worth a damn. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.